The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's presentation, Google AdWords Editor 101 with Mark Browner. I'm Renee Rivetta, and I'll be moderating today's webinar. I'm Senior Social, Me Senior Social Media Specialist here at SearchMojo. A few things before we get started. Please submit your questions into the questions box only. This will help us streamline the process and respond to you faster. And we'll be sure to answer your questions during or after the webinar. If we don't get to it during the presentation, we'll follow up with you through an email. If you do happen to think of a question later on, feel free to submit it to seo4u.search-mojo.com. And as some of you may be wondering, the presentation slides and recording will be provided to you in an email later today. Now to introduce you to today's presenter, Mark Browner. He's a junior account manager here at SearchMojo and a James Madison University graduate where he studied business administration with a focus on B2B marketing. You can follow along today's presentation on Twitter, Twitter excuse me, using the hashtag EditorMojo. You can also follow us at SearchMojo, at Mark Browner, and at Renee Rivetta. And at the close of presentation, we'll provide you with um, Mark's contact information, but feel free to also reach out to him on Twitter. Just a few brief things about SearchMojo. We're a search engine marketing firm that was founded in 2005. We offer search engine optimization, pay-per-click advertising, and social media monitoring for our clients. We're located in the beautiful Charlottesville, Virginia, and we've been uh, featured in some publications like the Washington Post and Marketing Sherpa. We also frequently speak at industry conferences. For example, later this week, our CEO and President Janet Driscoll Miller will be presenting at the Marketing Prof Digital Marketing Forum in Austin. And some of the other Search Mojo team members will also be there. So if you're headed there, make sure to find them and say hello. And here's a quick snapshot of some of our clients. Um, we've worked with some great clients over the past few years. So for now, I will give it off to Mark and let him get started. Thanks, Renee, and thanks all of you for joining us today. So just to start, it's really important for anyone that's doing pay-per-click, also known as PPC advertising, to understand how to use AdWords Editor because it really is a tool that makes every step of managing a PPC account easier. It helps to speed up the process and to become a lot more efficient when managing accounts. So let's begin with what is AdWords Editor? AdWords Editor is a downloadable application, so you can download it onto your computer and then you can create and make changes onto your PPC account while working online, offline, sorry. So you don't have to be actually in the AdWords interface. You don't have to you know, be using a browser or anything. As long as you have that downloaded on your computer, you go and make the changes. In order to post the changes, you have to be online, but you, know, you can work offline, which is really helpful. It allows you to make individual changes or you can make multiple changes to several campaigns at once. And it also allows you to make changes in editor, but wait to post them until they're ready to be posted. So, you know, sometimes you may need to wait for ad copy approval. You may need to wait for budget to come through. So you can't, you know, make changes live right away. But while you have time, it's good to make all the changes. And then once that approval comes through, or once you're ready, you can go live and post it right away, not have the hours to a few days of work ahead of you. And then, you know, I feel that there are four distinct things that make AdWords such a useful tool. There's, there's a lot more than four, but these are just four really distinct ones that, that I would like to point out. You can make multiple changes to campaigns, ad groups, keywords, and ads all at once. So this can save a lot of time, especially when adding new ad groups and new keywords. And when you do these one at a time, it can really take a long time. In fact, some of the campaigns that I manage have thousands of keywords. So you can imagine adding one at a time is just not feasible for account managers. AdWords Editor is also very easy to navigate. It has a very user-friendly interface, and it's pretty intuitive. Um, we're actually going to go into more detail about the interface on the next slide. Um, and then another advantage is you can copy and move whole ad groups and whole groups of keywords and paste them into different campaigns. And you can even paste them into different accounts if you have a My Client Center. So if you're an agency managing a bunch of different accounts, you can move things around within that My Client Center. And you can paste anything from a single keyword to multiple campaigns. So that scope of the things that you can copy and move is really large. 
Um, I find this particular useful when we're doing geotargeting. So for one of our clients, we have um, a campaign that is targeted to different regions. So I can you know, use the same exact ad groups and keywords, in fact, the same exact campaign, and copy and paste it four times so I have the same campaign, but it's geotargeted to different regions. So that it's really useful for things like that because I'm not actually building that same exact thing out four different times. I'm just copying and pasting it and then changing the geotargeting. You can also export information at all levels, the account level, the campaign level, and the ad group level. And then you can share these exported snapshots with others. So this is really helpful because if you're working on an account team like I work on, I can work on it in an editor and then save the snapshot, email it over to one of the other account managers on the team, and then they can make changes, email it back, and then I can import it back in to editor. So that allows for you know, a bunch of people to work on something at once and for not to get mixed up with the changes that are made. And again, you don't have to post the changes right away, so that's, it's a really good, useful tool for managing the account. So now we're going to move on to the actual navigation of AdWords editors. There are three main features that I really think you need to understand to navigate around editor. And they are the tree view, the tabs, and the columns. So as I was saying before, editor is very intuitive and it's pretty user friendly. So as you move from the top to the bottom and from left to right, the interface becomes, you get more and more specific data on the interface. So it starts at more of an account level and then kind of goes the campaign level and moves more and more into specific data. So we're going to start by talking about the tree view in AdWords Editor. So this appears in the top left and it contains a list of all of the campaign names within the account and um, each of the ad groups within each campaign. So as you can see in this image, there's the campaign and then tabbed over below it is are the ad groups within that campaign. In order to view the campaigns within the account, you click that little plus sign that's to the left of the account name. And then to view the ad groups within each campaign, you click that plus sign and turn it into a negative sign next to the campaign name. So in this picture, you can see the top two campaign campaigns were clicked, so that way you could see all the ad groups within it. And then the bottom three, campaign three, campaign four, and campaign five, are just kind of minimized so you don't see the ad groups. And then you just click on the name of the campaign or ad group that you would like to view, and it'll show up in the data view. Now, the data view is, is below on the right side of the screen, and that's where all of the data shows up um, for you to view and to make changes to. Next are the tabs. The tabs appear across the top of the data view, and this is where you actually choose what le level of data you want to see for the selected campaign or ad group that you've chosen. You can make changes across multiple campaigns or just change a few keywords within one ad group. Your options for these tabs, as you can see in this image, are the keyword placements, audiences, keyword negatives, ads, ad groups, extensions, and campaigns. So you just select which tab you want, and that's the level that you're going to see in the data view. Then after, below that, we see the columns. And this represents the actual data that is going to show in the data view. You can change which columns you want to see. Um, so to the very right side of the columns, there's a little box, and that's what this picture is. Of. If you click that box, you can check or uncheck the, the different options. So you can uncheck, for example, the status bar, and then that won't be one of the columns that you'll see in the data view. And so it makes it so you can really you know, customize what you're seeing move around the order by clicking on it and just scrolling it over. So it's, it's, it's very customizable too, so you can, if you don't want to see something, you don't have to see it. You can get it down to just four different data, you know, any number of data that you want to see. So moving on from navigation to actually creating campaigns, you know, creating campaigns in AdWords is, it's fairly simple. Um, first, you click on the campaigns tab, that's in the tab bar that we discussed, and then you click Add Campaign under that. So there's this image, so you can kind of follow along what I'm talking about. Then you click Add CPC Campaign um, if you're doing CPC. You can also click Add CPM Campaign if you're managing, it, it depends on if you're managing cost per click or cost per, you know, thousand impressions. But for example, I do mostly cost per click. So I would click on Add CPC Campaign. 
then below that below on the interface you're going to see um, it's going to ask you to fill out information. So that's going to you're going to need to put the campaign name. There's a scroll for status whether you want it to be live or be paused. And then you choose whether you want it to be search network or display network. And again, mostly what I do is search network, so I would choose search network. And also, this is where you put your daily budget for the campaign. And then the next thing to do would be to create ad groups, which is very similar to creating a campaign. You First, you select the campaign in the tree view, and, then, and that's the campaign that you want to add the ad groups to. Then you click um, the ad groups tab. And then you click Add Ad Group. And then, just like before, you fill in the information at the bottom of the screen. You're going to assign an ad group name. You're going to decide whether you want it to be paused, whether you want it to the, the ad group to be live right now. And then you're going to give a default max CPC bid. So this is the highest that you want any individual keyword to cost you per click um, in any particular bidding instance. The next thing to do would be to create ad copy. So you're going to select the desired ad group on the tree view. So this is the ad group that you want to add ad copy to. Then you click the ads tab, click the add text tab, or add text ad, and then you're going to fill in the headline, the description line, and the display URL, and the destination URL. So as you can see in the image, you fill it in in those boxes. and um, just remember that the headline can only contain 25 characters. Each description line can only contain 35 characters. And then the display URL and the destination URL have to have the same domain. And then to the right of, the, of where you insert your text, you can see a preview of the ad. So that's going to actually show you what the ad is going to look like on the search network. And you can also see right in between where you actually fill in the ad and where the ad preview is, you get the numbers, how many characters your headline description line and everything is. So you can keep track of whether you're on track or not with those. And it will give you a little alert if you're over the allotted amount of characters. So then with editing ad copy, you're just going to select the desired ad that you want to edit in the data view. And then it's going to give you that same, it's just going to appear just like it does whenever you create the ad, but you're just going to edit it. So um, you can see in the image where like it says minimum 25 characters, you would just edit it to do what you want to, for it to say what you want to, what you want the ad to say, and then you'll be able to see the preview and everything. It'll be just like creating the ad. So then moving on to adding multiple keywords. Um, and again, you can add, there's several things you can do a lot of changing multiple stuff. So I wanted to focus on adding multiple keywords um, because you know, that would be the next step in the process that we're doing. So you choose the desired campaign and ad group from the tree view. So that's the campaign and then the ad group within that that you want to add the keywords to. Then you click the Keywords tab, and then you click Make Multiple Changes, then Add Update Multiple Keywords. Once you click that, a new window is going to appear on the screen. And this window, when you see this window, you're going to check the check the box next to the ad group that you want to add the keywords to. And then you're going to paste. You can you know, write the keywords ahead of time. You can paste them into this box. Or if you want, you can type them in manually. So paste those keywords into the box to the right. And then click Next. And then click Finish. So that's all I have now. Are there any questions? One quick question. What is the difference between pausing and deleting an account? Well, if you pause an account, then you're going to keep the data for that account. So, you know, you're still going to be able to see the statistics and everything. Um, you're going to be able to see how well the keywords did and everything like that. So what we like to do is pause everything, not delete it. So that way we can still, you know, see the performance metric. And the last question to wrap, th wrap things up from today um, is from Lauren. Is there a way to upload a CSV file? or thousands of locations to target an AdWord? You can um, you can import and export stuff. There's different you know snapshots that you can import and export within Editor. So that's definitely something that makes it useful is the fact that you can import and export snapshots. Great. That's really good to know. And I'm sure it's helpful for a lot of people. 
And if you do think of any questions later on today, you can submit them to seo4u.search-mojo.com. And um, we will be on the lookout for you in future Search Mojo webinars. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And we'll be talking to you.